wash off defeat and failure from your body, mighty woman. Those who set eyes on you shall tremble, and those who hear you speak shall quake in their bones. Your presence will bring fear and terror to those who oppose you. When you stand up, your enemies will run. in Chicago. Yes. They say they are coming for this year's August meeting. You see, this year's August meeting is going to be fire for fire. My dear sisters, you see that this year's August meeting is not for children. At all. At all. We are going to tell the world and the people we left right there in the village that their daughters are women of timber and <laughs> So before I present to you the women who will vie to lead this August meeting May I call on our able financial secretary to give us an update?
all of you have a copy of. Yes. 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 The outgoing uh, executives left a sum of three million naira. No, no, no. Which is chicken change, peanuts, compared to the project we have lined up for execution this August meeting. So we had to appeal to our husbands for donation. Yes. And I'm very happy to say that we realized almost seven million naira. August meeting. And um, the first woman is very powerful. Very, very powerful. She is our sister, Lolo. Okuloka. Wanyikibye. Odozi Akudia. Chief Mrs. Amaka Chukuka. <laughs>
about to ask whether you've decided to open a club business in Tojo Osho. Eh, well, my customer brought them and I selected these ones. Which one? All of them, of course. They are for the August meeting. Ah. <laughs> Is that all you are going to say? You're going to make sure. What do you want me to say? I will need 50,000 Naira to pay for them. You need what? 50,000. Are you deaf? the money. Udoka. Eh? How much rent do we pay for this flat? 32,000. Why? Have we paid that of this year? No. I hope you're not insinuating that that will stop me from paying for my rappers. I've told you I need them for the August meeting. <laughs> if you do not go for this August meeting this year, will your passenger cease to be president? Or will George Bush be banished from America? 
Don't make light of a serious situation, Rufus. All evil women are preparing for the August meeting. I know how much Adam Ma's husband has given her to go shopping. All I'm asking is for a mere 50,000 naira. <laughs> Ah, don't worry, my darling wife. 50,000 naira. After paying the house rent 32,000 naira and providing enough food for you, myself, and the children to eat, <laughs> then I will even give you more than 500,000 naira for a rapper. <laughs> August meeting. Foolish woman. Hey! You will come back. If I don't get that money, we shall see who wears the trousers in this house. My sister, God is very good. Honestly. I'm telling you. Do you know it's by His grace that we are all alive? Yes. Uh -huh. What preparations are you making towards the meeting? How can I make preparations when my husband has refused to understand that as an evil woman, I must do what other women are doing? You don't mean it. Doesn't he realize that fellow women are watching us? I don't know for that man. I don't just know for him. He's always like that every year. Can you imagine I gave him list of things I needed for the meeting? And he said it was a wasteful spending. The most annoying part of it is that this money is there. He doesn't just want to give it to me. You don't mean it. Oh, that husband of yours, he has always been an eccentric. Well, anyway, don't worry. What are you doing right now? Mm, right now? Mm. Not to know my sister. I'm trying to forget my rules. It's okay. Um, I will pass by to your house and pick you. Where to? Blessing to the market. You know what? My husband has just written a check of 200,000 naira this morning for me to get the things I need for the meeting. And I think I need somebody to help me make some good choices. Oh, okay, baby. Oh, I bow for you. I hail you. My sister, I jealous you. Anyway, I'll be here. I'll be over in your house in the next 20 minutes. Okay. Bye. Hmm. Hmm. You, you've not finished. I'm on my way out, please. My sister, mm -hmm. is it not those that have teeth that can chew biscuit bone? Yes, why that? Hmm. If you see how my fellow women go into the market and buy things for themselves, look at me. Can you believe that in almost six months, I have not even made any kobo to buy a bada for myself and you are going to attend this same August? I don't understand the craze for this August meeting. Eh? For the past two weeks now, all I've been hearing is you complaining of this August meeting. Why? My sister. You will not understand because you're not an no. Igbo woman. Okay? Every August, all Igbo women must go home to attend this meeting. That still yes. doesn't answer my question. I say, why must you go? I don't think I know, but we all raise money to build things for the community. Eh, hey, fine. Yeah. If why you people attend your meeting is to do something good for your community, then why do you spend so much money buying something to wear? <laughs> oh, oh, you don't want me to look like other women. Hmm. Everyone will be in her best for the part, for the next one week we will stay. Eh? And you know it's a, a way of showing what you have worked for for the whole year. Hey, yes. If you ask me, oh, I will advise you use your money for something better instead of lavishing it on this your useless August meeting. Josephine, August meeting useless. I don't blame you. No, no, nah, Monica. Nah, nah, nah. Keep your useless advice. If I had not come here, you, you would not have the girl to insult me. Do my hair, let me get out from here. Sorry, oh, please, I'm August sorry. Meeting, sorry, my sister. Hi. Amaka, you've not really told me how you propose to win this election. You know, Angela is a very formidable woman, and I know she must have done her homework very well. Mm. <laughs> Look, her homework will come to no effect. Hmm? If it means buying the whole of Umoji women to my side, I will buy them. Hmm? I must be the president that will lead Umoji women to this year's August meeting. Mm. Yes. Do you know how much that will be involved in buying and taking over Umoji women? 
Probably you've not heard that Angela's husband had already donated the sum of one million naira. My husband has equipped me well. He has set aside the sum of 1.5 million naira for me to pursue this honor. <laughs> See, Angela and her husband can go ahead and donate all their fortune to Moji Women's Association. I, Lol, Odosia, Amaka, I will put my money where it matters most in the pockets of Umoji women that will vote on election day. Good talk. <laughs> oh, Jim, good talk. Now, uh -huh. what if our dear Angela is thinking on another means of winning this election, not by voting? What other ways? What other ways? Listen, mm -hmm. I heard she now visits all these white garment churches. <laughs> She has met her match. If that's what she wants, I can assure you that by the time this is over, Angela will be roaming the streets of Lagos. A raving mad woman. Oh, Jemba. <laughs> oh, baby, the baby. I know, man. I'm not moved, Ali, chasing me. All her noise making is what our dear senator will call the ranting sapanax. I know that the women of Umoji want me to be president of the association this year. But I'm worried though. Why? I'm worried about the way Amaka is carrying on. You know Amaka. Amaka is a woman who will go to any length, any length at all, to get what she wants. And whatever she wants this time, is in it, she will not have it. Because I will not wait for her to intimidate her women. No, uh, no I cannot. I cannot. Like I said a few days ago, I am going to bury her in a pile of money. Naira notes. <laughs> and, hey, oh, my president. Well, to what extent are you willing to go? I will do whatever it takes to win. Hmm. Ha! Omeleme. Lie. <laughs> In that case, mm. I'll take you to a man. A man who will make things happen for you. Mm. Yes. Not that quack, fake prophetess of yours you've been visiting. His name. <laughs> oh, you think it's a secret? <laughs> Why is it not, my friend? That your secret has become household conversation. Mm. That is talk of the town. <laughs> My old president. Oh, man, man. I the baby. What would I have done without you?
to buy a lot of things for this August meeting. Honestly, it, it won't be good that other women will look like million dollars while you look like a slave. My sister, how else will I position my mom to say it? I have tried my best. You really need to beg him. And now, if he doesn't do anything the next two days, just call on me and I will organize something for you. Okay, baby, I trust you. You know I'm always there for you, you now. You are. <laughs> I'm happy. Thank you. Take care of yourself. I will. Send me one to your husband. Okay. Bye. Yes. <laughs> 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 Evans, I didn't know you'd be coming home so early. And that was why you left Ikena all alone in the house. I didn't leave Ikena all alone. Either I was with him. You left them no food. Housewife, look at the time you're coming back to the house. Look at the time. By the way, where are you coming from? Mm -mm, please! Is this an inquisition or what? I asked you a question, my friend! Answer my question! Where are you coming from by this time? If that will console you, Nkiru's husband gave her 200,000 naira to buy the things that she needs for the meeting. So I accompany her to the market. What bloody meeting are you talking about? The August meeting, of course. Anyway, I don't expect you to understand. Those who have husbands are putting things together. All I get from you is shout, shout, shout. Yes! Yes! You get that? Yes! I will shout to get you back to your senses. That idiotic meeting has nothing to offer. I went to to waste money, spend the money. I can't work so hard, make money only to waste the money, stupid or uh, gospel or whatever. I can't. If that is how you choose to look at it, that's your business. God. Hold it. Hold it there. What is that you're having in that bag? What does it look like to you? What does it look like? Where did you get that from? Evans. Evans. Hey, hey. You are bent on making trouble this evening. Answer my question! Where did you get that from? Where? Okay. Since you don't want to buy anything from me, those who care about what I wear outside bought them for me. Ah, is that so? Yes. Now, send back those things from where you bought them from. Or you go and join those people that care about how you look outside. This is my house, you are my wife, I understand what happens here. Is that okay? If your plan is to persuade me from not going to this August meeting, I tell you, you will not succeed. You think if you don't give me money, there are those who are willing to give me outside. I hope you did not uh, break your voice. <laughs> my friend, go and pick the ball, please. Ah, yes, Johnson. thank you. Yes. Uh, my brother, thank you very much. You are the one that need more water. After, <laughs> after this heated, you somehow hot. You remember what you told me? Johnson, you remember what you told me the other day? Okay, let us forget about what you told me. Wait. You remember you said you were going to surprise me. Have you not surprised yourself? You talk too much, Johnson. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'll deal with you. Ah! 
<laughs> Before I forget, I forgot to tell you that I have not known peace in my home for quite some days now. Why? I heard that you gave the Women Association one million. Uh, 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 uh. Just say, my brother, my wife persuaded me to do so. She said it is the only way she could secure the presidency. Although I did not know that your wife will be contesting the same election. Yeah, what does it matter? <laughs> Whoever wins, your wife can win. Oh, I will. Johnson. My wife wins, that's no problem. Johnson. Yes. You know I'm a businessman. I don't have the idea of wasting one million naira. No. My wife must win so that I can recover my money. <laughs> First of all, I quite don't. Uh, I don't quite understand you. Mm, what point are you trying to drive on? Do you know how much money the association controls? I know it is in the excess of 15 million naira every year. And I heard that Chicago branch will be attending the meeting this year. So that means more money. And all this money is in the exclusive preserve of the president to do with it whatever she wants. Johnson, do you know how many times you can turn over 10 million naira in a year? <laughs> I don't want you to waste your money. Neither do I want to waste mine. So, advise your wife to drop the idea of contesting. That will do both of us a world of good. Johnson, good day. Johnson, Johnson. Festus uh, gave the Umoji Women Association one million. Why? Is anything the matter? Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You want to tell me that you will sit back and allow Angela to win that election? But I thought you said you weren't interested in who wins the election. Amaka, Amaka, please answer my questions and stop tasking my patience. Yes, he did. Listen very carefully. That money that I set aside for you to buy some things for the August meeting, donate it to the association on my behalf. 1.5 million? Precisely. We cannot allow Chifestos or his wife to donate more than us. And let me tell you, you must win that election by all means necessary. And if you need more money, let me know. Tell me. Hey! What's it? 
see that I saved me. If I don't travel home for this August meeting, eh? You will see. Hey! Is there anything you need to win this election that has not been provided? For now, I can't think of anything. Eve, so how far have you gone with your arrangements? Um, we've been going around meeting the women one after the other. We want to find out those of them that don't have any means of attending. Then I give them money to help out. I think that way we will buy their votes. <laughs> you have to be very, very careful, Angela. I have a feeling Johnson and his wife will not sit and watch us win this election easily. And you know, a lot of money is involved. The last thing I will want is to lose that money. Isn't he promised to take me to a medicine man who would fortify me? He should not just fortify you. As a matter of fact, you should ask him anything you should take to destabilize our marker. <gasps> Destabilizer? Angela, this is warfare. And in warfare, people die. No sentiment. An enemy is an enemy. I know I want to win this election, first of all. Yes. But I don't think I want to kill anybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now listen, Angela. Destabilizing somebody doesn't necessarily mean killing the person. There are other means of destabilizing the person. Eh? Uh, yes. Like? Like temporary insanity. Uh, disability. <laughs> <laughs> First toss. <laughs> you know, that is why I married you. We think alike. <laughs> you have a very devilish mind. Just like you. <laughs> out of my room, please. Can I have some peace? Peace? Did you say peace? You cannot have any peace, oh? As long as you refuse to be a man, you cannot have any peace. Buying new dress for the August meeting is not what determines whether I'm a man or not. Please, let me sleep. You cannot, you cannot have any peace. You want to disgrace me in the village, Adi? Eh? You want to disgrace me? It won't work for you. It won't work for you. You want to disgrace me in the village? It won't work for you. I will not spend the need to for any needless or cast or any meeting for that matter. Eh? If you cannot wear the dress you have in this house, then you better forget it. Eh? And let me warn you, if you ever try to disturb me again, eh? I will tell you the type of man I am in this house. No sense. If you do not give me that money to buy my rubber, what do 
have that meeting. The reason what happened to you. This is just the beginning. The nail is lodged at a very dangerous uh, spot and it will require an operation to get it out. You have to make a deposit of 20,000 naira. Ah! Doctor, I don't have that kind of money. What if I give you 5,000 naira? Please, doctor. Madam, understand me. It's not as if I don't want to help you. I mean, after all, I'm professionally bound to save lives. But you see, we have been cheated so many times by people who refuse to pay their bills that we cannot afford to grant such concessions anymore. If my husband comes back, he will settle all the bills. Please help me and save my son's life. Please, doctor. Madam. Please. I think I have done my best. As it stands now, there's nothing else I can do to help you. Doctor, please. Please now, please. Please, doctor. Angela introduced me to her tailor. Though expensive, but she is very good. I think I'll use her. You know, this year is August to meet him. We have oh, to be. Oh, baby. A baby. <laughs> you want to try I beg, make believe that just. How far have you gone with your husband? Mm. Has he done anything? My sister, we are still on the same spot. Nothing has changed. Ah, this is your husband, Seth. Eh? Ah. Every year, the same story. It I am. Honestly, I pity you. Adama, come. Let me tell you something. What is that? Yes, now. What is there? Blessing. Mm -hmm. What would you say if I introduce you to somebody who can help? Who? Somebody who has admired you for a very long time. He told me so himself. And I know he will do anything. I mean, everything. So long as you can give him what he wants. And what does he want? Don't be naive, blessing, eh? What else does a man want from a woman? He? No. He? Have you both forgotten I'm a married woman? Forget that, eh? What good has that done you? Eh? Is your husband willing to afford all that you want? She is talking about somebody who, who can buy you the most expensive jewelries in the whole world. Yes. And the most exclusive fabrics. That was it. You still have not answered my question. Blessing, cool down. Uh, why are you behaving like a small girl? Uh, uh. Chief Johnson is willing to do anything for you. Amaka's husband. Yeah. Hey. What about it? I beg, I beg, you said I'm not going for that August meeting again. Do you want Amaka to kill me? Huh. Amaka is not the kind of woman you play around with you. Excuse me, Blessing. Will you go to her and tell her? Mm -hmm. ah, why are you talking like a kid? For goodness sake, give this man what he wants and you get what you need. Except if you don't want to attend the August meeting. No, no, of course, you know I won't. Oh, so what will I be doing at Lagos when other women have gone home? Think about it. If you agree, I'll set up a meeting and I can assure you that by Saturday, you go for shopping for all you need. Or do you think all this place is made up of one person? No. So, think about it. Don't behave like a small girl. You think you have a check, Abby? Shamless man! I'm not giving 50,000 naira you don't have. Others are giving their wives millions. You think you have a step? Let me see whether I will not come back to this house. By the time you come back, I would have sold everything in this house. Just tell me and I will show you that my name is Kuto.
Put in the money there. All right, my daughter. You can go. Our gods have heard your prayers, and your heart's desires will be fulfilled. Your opponent will be paralyzed, and only after the elections she will be well. Go. Don't worry. Ebenko doesn't sleep. The great one, the great one. Who did you want to Your friend is in contest with a woman who is planning to kill her. Baba, what do I do? Protect yourself. And the only way a cobra protects itself is to attack the prey. What do you want done to your opponent? She wants her to go crazy until after the election. <laughs> 15,000 Naira! Is shell. Give it to her. <laughs> Do you know why I have to pull so much? Because there are repercussions which only the man who does it for you will bear. Never mind, I'll give you some. Look for whatever she will be wearing during the period of the elections. And put it on it. And you see, it will work. Thank you. Go. 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 Ebonko, 
great one. The great one. <laughs> Something must be wrong. Rufus, you are not being your usual self. These files have been on your table since morning and you are not doing anything to them. Come. What's wrong with you? Peace! Peace! I can't seem to find peace anywhere! Peace? I don't understand. Is there anything after you? It's my wife! She needs 50,000 naira. And ever since she mentioned it, she's been harassing my life about it. Last night, I had to sleep on the sofa. 50,000 naira? For what? Uh, she needs it to buy things. Uh, jewelries, wrappers, handbags, so many other things for the August meeting. Of this year. <laughs> It's not a laughing matter. Mm -hmm. Ever since she mentioned it, my house has been hell on earth. Okay. Now, let me tell you something. The accountant will be transferring some money. 500,000 naira into Eco Bank account. <laughs> so, you plan how to steal it? Tony! Yes. Of course, you are a fool. You want to kill yourself because your wife needs 50,000 naira to buy things for. What that meeting? What the hell is August meeting? When you get home, tell your wife she should go to hell. Happening here. Okay. I went to the market. When I came back, because he told me that you know, do swallow there now. I rushed him to a hospital. The doctor said I have to deposit 20,000 naira. <laughs> I offered him 5,000 and he refused. <laughs> But you had money on you. I left 30,000 naira with you before traveling. What did you do with the money? Where is the money? I am asking you, where is the money? I used it to buy things for the August meeting. You mean you used what you would have used in saving our son's life? In buying jewelries and clothes? For your nonsense, August meeting? Please, Victor. Don't Victor me. Look, if you know what is good for you, you better produce and only produce my son now. <laughs> if I ever see you step your legs into this house again, I will make sure I drop your head on the ground. Nonsense. You, you, you wasted the life of my son because of your nonsense and stupid August meeting. <laughs> ah, such a wonderful lady. Thank you. Oh, anyway, we should be doing this more often, you know. <laughs> and I must confess to you that um, your husband does not know exactly what he's doing by allowing you to run loose. <laughs> Chief, I'm not running loose. You're flattering me. Oh, no. I am not. 
I'm only making a statement of facts. Mm. By the way, how much did you say you needed? Um, just 200,000 naira. 200,000 naira. <laughs> Oh, well, anyway, darling, I must tell you that um, for doing this to me today, for doing this to my system today, <laughs> Chief. I will give you 300,000 naira. Chief! That's not all. That's not all. Just wait. If you allow this to happen again on Saturday, another 300,000 I will give to you. Oh, Chief! <laughs> Thank you so much. That's okay. You know what, Chief? Mm. You're the most generous man I've ever met. There you go again. You're about to flatter me again. <laughs> I should be saying that to you, really. <laughs> you are the most generous woman I have on this earth. Chief! Mm. <laughs> oh. Today, I hope I'm safe. You yes, are safe. Very safe. Very safe. Oh. <laughs> you see, there's a friend of ours. Uh -huh. He makes our clothes uh -huh. here. And we came to see things for ourselves. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, can I know who this your friend is? You know Amaka now. Yes. You know, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Amaka. Yes. Oh, we have been making some special designs for her for this special August meeting. Ah! <laughs> Maybe we should have a look at them so that we know what to do. Oh, yes, you know, we will My show dear. Yeah. She doesn't know she's playing into her hands. Don't mind me. I must be present. <laughs> My dear! You have made it up. You are you telling off. Are you telling me? See how she is. I'm Here are they now. Oh, this is the good one. Good one. <laughs> Look at this, look at this. See this design. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful, very beautiful. Ah, I trust you now. How much does it, does it cost to make one of them? Well, it's 2,000. 2,000? What of uh, with the fabric? Well, it's 15,000. Oh, okay. Ah, we'll be back, eh? Uh, exactly uh, where shall yeah. I expect it? Before the day runs out. Uh, That's right. Uh, Uh, where could he have gone? We were supposed to escort him to the bank. I, I saw the door open and uh, he must have been in one of these offices. Senses? This is my briefcase now. Where did you get that from and where are you going to? We've not closed for the day. Are you my head of department? I am asking, are you my head of department? 
I've taken permission to go home briefly. To go home briefly? To drop the money you've stolen? Are you accusing me of stealing or something? Yes. I am saying you walked into my office and picked up the briefcase I left in my office. Accountant, you are accusing me of stealing. Eh? Take that briefcase. Okay, leave okay, me. Okay, leave me. Leave me. briefcase is this, Mr. Rufus? And where did you get all this money from? Please forgive me. Forgive me. It is the devil. My wife. She wants 50,000 Naira. And this type of thing has never happened to me before. All I wanted was peace. Security, sir, call the police and arrest this man. Accountant, accountant, please come back here, Mr. Rufus. Now for you. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> Thank you so much. That's all right. <laughs> Chief, you saved me from disgrace. That's all right. And you have given me the most enjoyable afternoon that I've had in all my 45 years in life. Mm. And remember, if we do this on a regular basis, you will even have more. <laughs> Your husband doesn't seem to know what he has in Chief. you. You are a dynamite. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> For this useless August meeting. My brother, I'm having the same problem in my own house. So, how was your last week? Oh. <laughs> Evans. Yeah. Evans. As I said, all I need is your cooperation. Uh, Blessing. Eh? Blessing. <laughs> yes, my friend. Can I help you? Blessing, what the hell are you doing in a hotel? I so, because pay. I refuse to give you money for a ghost meeting, no. that's why you are in a hotel prostitute. No, let me ask you. Let me ask expectantly. <laughs> Let her just put that dress on. And she goes, Besset! <laughs> oh, Meleme! Oh, Meleme! <laughs> Life! <laughs> uh, but, isn't I'm afraid of? Uh, why? What if she doesn't plan on wearing the dress until after the elections? Angie, baby, it looks like you don't know Amaka. Does Amaka look like somebody who will make a dress and she does not put it on? No. As far as we have done what Baba told us, mm -hmm. you have just eliminated your opponent for the presidency. <laughs> <laughs> Two more days. <laughs> I can't wait. Two more days, I will be president of the association. Oh, oh Meleme. Oh, Meleme. <laughs> Live. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Baby, oh, hmm? I've got to go. Yeah. Yes. You know, I told my husband that we'll be leaving first light. First okay. thing in the morning. Yes. So let me go and pack my things. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Isn't it? Mm. Why did our outgoing president say that we should go in uniform. our uniform? Eh? Ah. So that it will be shuttle, shuttle this year. Eh? That is uh, what over what, what who hey. that bottle. Hey. <laughs> who is in trouble? <laughs> 
Oh, yes. I can assure you that with what Baba has given you, you don't have any other problem. Of course. A lame, paralyzed woman cannot lead the women of Umoji. I, Lola, Amaka, Odoziaku, Chukuka, Odemba will lead the women to August meeting this year. Where are these house helps? I wonder what I paid them for salary Designer is always a Designer! I I I hope I hope you have I hope you have arranged me well. Have a glass, have a glass. Cheers, my dear. Uh-huh. Proceed, proceed, proceed. Let us see them. Hold on. 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 Whoa! Am I? I will have to take this. No, 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 no. Look at those beautiful ones. Are you sure? Yes. This is beautiful. Designer, what do you think? I think I prefer this too. Ah, uh, let me go and try it. Ajemba! Oh, take this one. Too much one. I think I will. Why don't you want to try it on again? I will wear it on the day of election proper. Ajemba! What does he have to do? Oh, what does he have to do? I am the president. All hell you are already present. there. President. <laughs>
And Angela, her opponent, is now paralyzed. After bewitching each other in pursuance of vainglory. Vainglory! Obako. Oba, come back here. If you know what is good to you, go back into the house and peel off all these dresses. But, guys, does this mean that's not going to be a ghost meeting this year? Oba, so you are asking me that stupid question. And you are still watching me. Eh? Uh. Oh, but don't you 